What's going on, YouTube? Well, another Sunday. Another shitty-ass Bengals loss. Oh, my God. Another three hours I wasted. Well, not really, because I watched the Dallas Cowboys kick ass again. Dak Prescott. My man, Dak Prescott. Fucking showing all the haters why, uh... And you know what's funny? They still want fucking Romo to start. The Romo dick suckers always want Romo to start. How can you bring Romo back when we... The sh they should be 10-0. and 0. Good thing they're probably not, because they probably wouldn't be doing as good as they are right now. Nine straight wins the first time in Cow Cowboys history. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, Cincinnati. Take notes. Take notes. Well, even if you did take notes, it wouldn't matter because you got a shitty ass fucking owner, a shitty ass fucking coach, and better yet, a shitty ass fucking quarterback. Andy Dalton fucking sucks. He couldn't fucking penetrate his way through a wet paper bag. And fucking neither could Jeremy Hill or Giovanni Bernard, as far as that goes. Um, AJ Green got hurt. I don't know how long. Well, it's crying shame because AJ Green, you need to demand a fucking trade. You need to get out of there. You're just wasting your fucking talent in Cincinnati if it ain't already wasted. You wasted fucking years, four or five years on Cincinnati. That's a fucking piece of shit, garbage organization. Always has been, always will be. You know, it's funny because everybody says the Cleveland Browns are the worst team in the NFL. Well, how the fuck are the Bengals any better? They're fucking garbage. They're horrible. <laughs> Three, six, and one. You might as well be fucking 0 and 11, right, with the Cleveland Browns. It's like you and the Browns are fucking competing to be the worst team in the AFC North. It's just unfucking believable. Um, as far as this goes, uh, it just shows you how bad the AFC North is because uh, Dallas has fucking creamed every fucking team in the AFC North so far, except for the Pittsburgh Steelers, which gave them a run for their money, and the Baltimore Ravens. You know, first half of football, they played really well, but I knew. I'm like, nah, Ravens ain't that good. Joe Flacco can't keep up. Um, but uh, so there you go.